Um, but one of the most common responses I see to like idealists and even maybe like dualists with regards to like philosophy of mind is that um, our own mental experience, our own consciousness is just a product of the brain. Um, we have these physical brains that evolve over time. And eventually the conscious experience can kind of just emerge or come out of the brain. Um, and there's obviously different kinds of like physicalism here, but this is kind of like a, a basic understanding of like what a physicalist might argue. So how would you respond to that kind of objection that, well, this mental experience just something that is a product of the brain well of course i don't deny that uh, uh, mental experiences depend on the brain in the case mm -hmm. of human beings uh, and the sort of experience you have largely depends on your brain your body your environment so our minds are embodied right? that's certainly true the question is whether they can be reduced to physical phenomena now i think it's pretty obvious um the physical things have properties like mass and position and velocity and extension and spin you know the whole lot of physical terms if you read a physics textbook these are the things you get if you don't get anything about value or purpose or feeling uh, that's not relevant to physics so i think science uh, gives a very limited view of the world uh, which neglects questions of what is good what is bad neglects questions of beauty, what is beautiful, what is ugly, and it neglects questions of uh, human feeling and what it's like to exist as a human being. Really, physics isn't concerned with that. So uh, I would say, well, science is good. I mean, I agree with every well-established uh, finding of science. Uh, some of them are not very well-established, but I agree with every well-established finding of science, certainly. Um, but I'd say, well, that's not all there is. There are lots of things in the world apart from physical things. And I can give you a short list. I mean, moral truths, it's wrong to kill the innocent. Uh, mathematical truths, like two plus two plus four, very simple one, but that's not a physical truth. Um, mental feelings and thoughts, those are not physical. I mean, my feeling, whatever I'm feeling now, you don't know. You don't know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm feeling. Uh, but you can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't feel it. So these these mental things exist. So they're connected with the brain. That's definitely true in the case of human beings. The brain is a sort of instrument for allowing you to have the sort of mental experiences that you have. But those mental experiences are different from the physical brain. So there's a, there's a link, very important link. Uh, but that link could be broken and of course as a christian uh, i do believe it will be broken that is we'll die and uh, our mental experiences will carry on mm -hmm. i can't verify that i'm not dead yet but uh, <laughs> i'm sure it'll happen